Hello and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech for yet more of your daily gaming news. Today is still the 29th of August and I have some more news for you concerning the Nintendo 2DS. Now I'm sure most of you have probably seen the video I did on this just yesterday where Nintendo revealed the 2DS a 3DS model with the 3D capability removed as well as a few other things such as stereo sound through the speaker and the folding capability that has been part of the DS since, well, the original DS. And basically what we've got today is that supposedly according to a US Gamer report, the 2DS has been built with one single large touchscreen as opposed to two individual displays such as with the DS and 3DS. And basically, they're claiming that the recently announced new handheld model is masking an unused portion of the display, so it basically has the illusion of the traditional two screens. Now, it's believed that this is a further way of reducing the cost of the system, as well as, of course, the removal of the 3D capability that basically gave the 3DS its entire name and existence. According to the same report, a layer of plastic has been placed over the top of the touchscreen. So theoretically, if this layer of plastic could be bypassed, then modders could create 2DS software that can make use of dual touchscreen displays. Now, obviously, the top part of the 2DS's all-in-one touchscreen is basically protected behind a layer of plastic. And of course, you've got the case masking out the unused sections. So. Even if you were to remove those, the system obviously isn't designed to recognize any input from those areas. So it wouldn't just, you know, you could pull off the case and then ta-da, you've got basically a tablet. It wouldn't really work that way. You would, of course, have to actually mod the device. So what's really interesting is the modding capabilities of the 2DS. And that definitely leads into some interesting possibilities. I'm still not really sure what to make of the 2DS. I think the design is the oddest thing. And the, the, base, the basically the, the fact that it doesn't fold, like the DS and 3DS, is going to be a bit odd and could possibly leave the touchscreen section, obviously not the part that's protected by plastic, open to some damage if perhaps you're using it for traveling, which would make perfect sense. It is a handheld after all. So yeah, I think that might put a few people off who are just used to the design of folding it when you're done and then putting it in your bag or what, what have you. And obviously the fact that it's 3DS is 3D removed, you could easily argue, hey, just buy a pre-owned 3DS, but of course they're targeting more towards the younger demographic as, of course, this 3DS can't really be used by young children because of the 3D capability. And I may be curious to see what any modders come up with, of course, and the 2DS will be launching before too long, really, October 12th in North America and the same day in Europe. So I'm sure we'll see before too long the interesting ideas that come out of the 2DS. Anyway, that is me done for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.